Laura, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing a reading from the 8th to the 14th of February. This is going to be a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with every single person that watches it. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Libra, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future. I'm going to be clarifying the cards and pulling some advice for you. All right, so <clears throat> Libra, your challenge for this week is the justice card, okay, which is your energy. So for many of you, you are being challenged at this time um, from yourself. You're, you're challenging yourself this week, okay? Uh, what is also really interesting with the justice card here in the uh, challenging position of your reading, this has a lot to do with something that needs to be set right, okay? This is something about setting something right with you and a specific person. There's something going on in a connection where things need to be um, balanced here, okay? We'll get some more information on that. In the bottom of the deck, at the bottom of the deck, you have the Three of Swords here in reverse. So for many of you, the Three of Swords in reverse is talking about getting over some sort of painful situation that has been affecting you in your life. And I feel like this is your energy, okay? So you're coming out of this place. A lot of you are going to be healing is what it's telling me here, okay? So <clears throat> in the recent past, we have the Knight of Cups in reverse. We have the King of Swords and the Seven of Swords. For many of you, there was some sort of trust issue that happened in the past with possibly a water sign. I'm getting Cancer Scorpio Pisces here, or it could be um, another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? I feel in the past, Libra, a lot of you with the King of Stor Swords, you were really trying to stand your ground. Okay, on some sort of situation. Really trying to be logical in this situation here is what it's telling me. Uh, you wanted the truth. There's something here about wanting the truth, wanting to know what was really going on. Um, because this person in the past, I feel, this Knight of Cups, really started to withdraw from you completely. And you really stopped trusting this person and believing in uh, their actions. It's There's something about this person It's like, they would say one thing, but their actions would be completely different. And this kind of, you know, sent a lot of red flags to you. Like, okay, well, can I really trust what you're saying? Because, I mean, you say one thing and it's a different, it's a different story, okay? So I'm just really getting here that there was some sort of trust issues here in the recent past. In the present moment, you have the Knight of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and the Ten of Wands. There is a situation right now in your life where there's somebody coming in very slowly. I don't feel like the Knight of Pentacles is your energy. I feel like this is someone that you're interested in. Someone could be interested in you. This person, okay, I'm getting like this is a person. It could also be a message for some of you. It's coming in, but it's coming in like super, super, super slow. We're going to see why this is, um, why the situation is happening really slowly. There is some sort of situation in the present moment for many of you that is pertaining to a connection that you're already in. And it's become a lot of, it's become a, a burden for many of you is what I'm getting here with the Ten of Wands and the Four of Wands. So we're going to clarify and we're going to see why this is. In the near future, you have the Ten of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands in reverse, and you have the Eight of Pentacles. It's really beautiful in the near future because all the issues that have cropped up from the past and in the present moment start to subside in the near future. And uh, someone here starts to become more open to you. Some of you are dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and this 
this has a lot to do with a long-term commitment or connection that you're in, okay? Lots of prosperity coming in for you in the near future, Libra. So for many of you, you're going to be preparing yourself for this. And there is something here that you're going to be working on and crafting. It could be this connection. It could be this um, connection that you have with this person. So let's do some clarification and let's see what's going on for you. First card I'm going to clarify for you, Libra, is the Justice card. There's something here for you this week that has a lot to do with setting something right with a connection that you're in. There's a relationship here that you have. It, could, it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. It could be a work relationship. Apply it to your situation. Something here needs to be brought back into balance when it comes to you and this other person in order to move forward. So the Justice card is clarified by the Ace of Cups in reverse, the Ten of Wands in reverse, and the Fool in reverse. For many of you, this is about you wanting to have a new beginning, okay? It's very similar to the Gemini reading. Some of you are dealing with a Gemini. I feel like there is this um, desire from you this week to have a new beginning, but at the same time, you know, the reason why there's delays or things are not moving forward the way that you want it to or you know, why is this person withdrawn from you is because a lot of you really need to uh, go within and balance something within yourself. There's something that's off balance. It could be your emotions. It could be your um, delivery, you know, how you're just going about doing things in your life. There's something here that has to do with fairness. So if there is a connection in your life, there is a situation in your life where there is a lack of fairness that's something that needs to be addressed. And that could be a little bit challenging for you this week. But the sooner you address the situation, Libra, the faster you're going to be able to have this new beginning that you very much want to have. For some of you, you want to move towards new love. Okay, that's for some of you, not all of you. Now, if this isn't new love, it could be a renewal of love with someone that you're already with. Let's clarify the past. I'm going to clarify the Knight of Cups in reverse. The Knight of Cups in reverse is clarified by the Empress, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Hangman. So for many of you, you wanted this person in the past to take action towards you. Could have been a Taurus. Pisces, I'm getting here as well too. Uh, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So in the past, you wanted this person to take action towards you, but this person could have acted very busy. They could have acted like they had other things on the go here. Uh, I'm just really getting someone who really was withdrawn from you in the past. Okay. Let me clarify the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is clarified by the Hermit, the Hierophant, and the Eight of Swords. This person's actions, Libra, really affected you because of the trust issues. I'm really getting something about trust issues here. It really affected the connection and it really um, got you to this point, possibly in the past, where you were really overthinking the situation or just needing to go within, okay? And what this did was, for many of you, this is a connection that you were in. For some of you, you're you're still married to this person. For some of you, this is a past person you were married to. The connection really started to make you feel stuck in the past. And it possibly could have had a lot to do with the truth. Okay? For many of you, there's like trust issues here, but I'm also seeing that this person, even though they were withdrawn from you, I feel, I feel this person was working, like they were working on something, they were busy creating or manifesting, creating something here in the past, and to you, from, from your point of view, it may have seemed like this person was being dishonest or they were doing something behind your back, but I don't really get that from, like I'm not getting that energy here. This is something that I feel a lot of you made up in your mind, and this is something you thought in your mind. Now for some of you, maybe you have evidence that this person actually did maybe lie to you or say something, well that's a different story. Story. But what I'm getting in this reading is that this person appears or comes across as being a liar, but really they have a lot going on in the background that maybe they don't tell you, okay? This person is not 
This person in the past is not someone who expresses their emotions. They're, it's very difficult for this person to express their emotions. And I think a lot of you put pressure on this person in the past with the King of Swords energy to get something from this person. You had some sort of expectation. And when this person didn't come towards you to fulfill that expectation, that's why it led to this energy in the past. Okay. So in the present moment, you have the Knight of Pentacles. There's something or someone coming in, but very slowly. It's a very slow energy that's coming in here. Let's see what this Knight of Pentacles is about. Knight of Pentacles is clarified by the Queen of Cups, the Seven of Swords, and the Page of Swords. Hmm. For many of you, you want to see if this person is really going to show up and give you the love that you truly deserve. Because in the past, they didn't have time to do that is what I'm getting. So for many of you, you're watching this person. You're watching, 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 watching them. Okay, um, I feel like they are coming in. They're coming in very, very slowly. But the way in which they come in, uh, Libra, it's actually quite surprising because they come in as the Queen of Cups. Showing you this love this time around, whereas in the past they couldn't do it because they were so busy or they had a lot of things going on in the background. Okay, so there is a little bit of pressure here in the present moment when it comes to a connection, when it comes to a home. For some of you, there is pressure in the home, in the home life. You have Pluto in the uh, fourth house for those of you that are rising Libras. So there could be some sort of pressure here for change or transformation at this time with the Ten of Wands. For many of you, you're dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I'm also getting Gemini very strong here. So the Ten of Wands is clarified by the Lovers, the Queen of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles. For many of you, there is a decision that you have to make in the present moment because I feel like there is a lack of, satis um, a lack of satisfaction when it comes to this person in your life. And for many of you, there is going to be a decision between enduring um, in a situation currently, presently, that's putting a lot of pressure on your relationship or completely abandoning it altogether, okay? Because there, there is pressure here for many of you. And a lot of you are trying to turn your back away from this pressure by not even focusing on it and being like, no, I'm not going to focus on it. But really what it's be asking you here right now, Libra, to do is to make a decision. And if you're going to decide to stick with this situation and there's a lot of pressure here, you are going to have to be able to really fight through this as much as you can, okay, without completely giving up on it. Because what that leads to is this happiness, which is what you want. Peaceful home, peaceful family life. So there is a bit of a challenge here in the present moment for you because you have an expectation when it comes to this person. In the near future, if you're able to hold on to the situation and in the process heal yourself in the present moment, I do see this person opening up to you completely because this is what you've wanted. You want this person to share their emotions with you. You want this person to be open to you. So let's clarify the Seven of Wands in reverse. How is this person going to open up to you in the near future? Wow. The Seven of Wands in reverse is clarified by the Ten of Swords, the Six of Cups, and the Knight of Pentacles. This person is really going to show up in the near future open to you, open to finally talk about this situation okay there's going to be two major points that this person brings up which is the ten of swords and the six of cups we can put an end to all the memories that we have all the things that we have all the energies of love that we have for one another but i'm still here 
I am moving very slowly towards you. This is what is going on with your person. I am moving very slowly towards you, but there's a reason why I'm moving slowly towards you because I know that there's a lot of developments that are happening and there's a decision that has to be made, okay? So for many of you, this person is coming towards you wanting to work on this, Eight of Pentacles. And there's a lot of work that needs to be done here, Libra. It's not gonna be easy, but I think if you're able to really um, stand your ground and be open to this person to allow them to open to you emotionally because this is what you've wanted from this person what it leads to is the victory that you've always wanted with this person which is ten of pentacles this is longevity ten of pentacles you know this is like creating something like a like a business like a corporation creating generational wealth this is like long-term love but this long-term love doesn't happen overnight it's not something that happens right away. It's something that you work through, okay? So this is what you're being called to do this week with all the confusion, with all the, the energies that are surrounding you with the Mercury retrograde right now, you are being called to heal. And I feel like this is what you're gonna be doing, okay, in this time. So let's get some advice for you, Libra. The, adv the advice here is, is the Four of Cups in reverse, the Queen of Cups in reverse, and the Ace of Wands in reverse. There is something about an opportunity that you pushed away or that you um, kind of didn't want in the past. What it's asking you right now, Libra, is to reevaluate this offer or opportunity that presented itself to you in the past to have a new beginning. For many of you, you need to allow this person to open up to you. Queen of um, Queen of Cups here in reverse. You need to allow this person to open up to you, okay? And this is going to require you to have some sort of patience. It's going to require you to have some sort of balance. And the more patient you are with this person and um, open, because the Four of Cups is about being open, Okay, this is about being open to any offers or opportunities that come to you and not just pushing them aside. That is when things are going to transform. But you have to remain open and allow this person to express themselves uh, completely without interfering or anything like that. And this is really going to transform the connection that you're in. Okay, so Libra, this is what I have for you. I hope this helped. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.